Hi guys, this is me, Dez up here. And this is something that my friends, the Garge Boys and Selfridges UK did, and I didn't. How can I not? The top 10 iPhone and iPod games. Now, I'm going to split them in split them into part one and part two and uh, one of them games and the other one apps uh, this one's gonna be games okay um starting now okay so my first um my f my tenth app will probably be uh, falling balls. I know what you're thinking. It sounds dirty, but it's not what it sounds like. Okay. So, the objective of this game is really simple. You're just a little stick man dodging mm -hmm. balls by tilting the iPhone or iPod touch left and right. And if a ball hits you like that, that happens. So it's basically just your average game. It's pretty cool. Okay. My ninth game is probably not this. Um My ninth game is probably Monkey Swing. Now if you bought all the levels like I did, um they're all um, they're all different. I haven't tried all of them yet. Um, f but for people who just bought the game, I'll just show you the normal one. As you can see, the buttons, that, if you click that side of the, um, screen, you will jump to the other row, and these buttons are to go up and down on the rope. And yes, basic average game. Pretty cool. Okay. On number eight if is probably fall down. It's it's a good game. Um how you play it, you're just basically tilting the iPhone or iPod touch left and right, and that's how you move the ball um from being squashed by the screen up from the up screen, like I'll show you in a minute. There are also power ups. If I can find one, I'll show you. Um, there's one power up to go fast, another power up is to freeze time, and the way to get points is not to jump on the bricks, it's to last long, so your points is basically the seconds. So like that, just get squashed, and yeah. Number seventh, Tetris. It's an it's your average tet it's your average Tetris basically, with a few different changes. I'll just show you. I'll just show you a quick game. Let's do level one. You could either see a tutorial or skip the tutorial. Now, one of the new things is this. Just to throw it down there. Or you could just slide it down. And by tapping it, you can also change it. And if you press the hold button, you can hold it and use it later. Like I just like I just changed it and now that's on hold and it's really cool. Okay. A few more other changes, but I didn't really check them out yet. Okay. Um I forgot which number it was, but next is stick foo. This is basically a game where you get missions and stuff. Uh, to me, it's just a side-scrolling beat-em-up. Okay. You could change your stickman's color and name, 
And you could also, there, you could also do stage or survival. There's also a light version for this, and that's where you can't finish the whole level. Okay. So one is the cemetery. Just show you a quick thing. Now, after you finish a level, you will get, um, you will get, um, a chance, you get five points to put on your health, agility, or power. I always choose power or health first, because those are the most important for me. I don't really care about agility. Um, as you can see there, sometimes, um, you get points there, like the boss. Um, there's a boss, and he's always there for some reason. Um, sometimes, like I'll just show you, you get something there, and that's a special move you get sometimes if you click it. And it's not always just a move. You could sometimes you get a sword or a spike or something like I just got a stick combo. I'll just show you. Let's just add something to my power. 